Earlier in July, the Nigerian Bar Association Section of Public Interest issued a seven-day ultimatum to the Inspector General of Police, Kairi Ekwetukun, to stop the directive requiring vehicle owners to register and obtain a central motor information system certificate for a fee of not less than 6,000 naira. NBA Spider questioned the legal basis for the Niger Police Force's issuance of the CMR certificate, stating that no law had granted the police the authority to issue such licenses or certificates to vehicle owners following vehicle registration at the appropriate offices. It demanded an immediate halt to the issuance and enforcement of the certificate, urging the IGP to issue a directive stopping the practice nationwide. The association also called for the shutdown of registration website and physical registration centers with reforms to be made to those who had already paid. Now, electronic security and automation specialist Timile Somo, who is the CEO of AutoSecure, joins me now for more on this conversation. Timile, good morning to you. Many thanks for joining us on Business Insights. Good morning, Justin. Good All right, let's talk all right, good. Let's talk about the ECMR. You know, although there was a bit of a controversy, but the IGP um, has talked about um, the possible, you know, benefits that Nigerians, uh, you know, those who have cars can actually derive from using it, and it will also stop the issue of, uh, you know, checking papers and all of that. But you are the automation specialist. Run us through what the ECMR is all about and um, what the benefits are, if any. So the first thing is that. You see, the ECMR is not a new document. We always had the CMR, which was part of our car documents. But now the ECMR is just like an extra E, the electronic version of the CMR we used to have. So let us go back a bit to why do we actually have the CMR? The CMR is like a way in which the, um, the police is like a document that you register with the police every time you buy a car. Because you see, most of the crimes that are being perpetrated, that are being committed, are always done with the aid of the of a vehicle whether you like it or not maybe it's a vehicle that took them there or whether they did it in a way and because of that the police needs to always have record these records were taken with biro it was oh. like a paper then it was like manually now it has been digitalized through a central portal and that central portal is what we now call the ecmr so now making it seem as if an ECM, the ecmr is like one new document that the um that the police is trying to bring up no that is not what it is and because as a security expert i believe too much in this and i see it as um i see it as a roadmap towards the digitalization of the general police force it is like a step towards being digitalizing the police force as a whole and 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 we have already started seeing this the vehicles that already through the ECMR portal they started retrieving vehicles and i mean i, I i've seen someone and, and there are lots of conflict that have also been i mean you check the news you'll see a lot of them and the post PR has said discussed about it. over 600 vehicles have been over 600 vehicles have been recovered in the portal and also they found a lot of vehicles in thousands that have been regular documents people that have um people that have duplicated uh, plate numbers across the country there is no way the police will have this data if they don't have access to a central database this is 2024 we can't keep doing things the manual way again. Okay, fine. Uh, very good, um, um, you know, position there. But then again, uh, so what does it really take uh, to move people from the manual uh, a way of um, centralizing the registration of the vehicles to this electronic? Uh, is it a cumbersome process? Are there fees involved? Because MBA, is, its logic then was that why should, should Nigerian be charged about 6,000 Naira, you know, to get that? And then they were saying that um, there was no law backing that. But then again, you've said that it's it's technological and um, the world is moving nigeria should also be moving you know with the global you know responses uh, to doing things now so you know does it really is it really cumbersome that is uh, to move from this manual to this e-registration of uh, uh vehicles as it were so unlike before you always have to pay somebody to go and do get the documents for you and do this this process is very straightforward. Just visit the website, cmris.npm.gov.ng. Insert your NIN details, merge it with your car plate number details, do all the process there, you make the payment online, and you are going to get your document. You don't need an agent. It's not something that needs an agent. It's very straightforward. It's something that you are going to do in like five steps. All, all, this, um, all this is about is being able to verify who actually owns the vehicle. Are you the owner of the vehicle? register the vehicle and 
Oh, and, and there's no way this can be done for free. The initial CMR document was not free. So when it became automated, it is still not going to be free. And it is 5,315 naira, not 6,000 naira. Okay. And I mean, I'm a Nigerian. I also, I mean, I also don't want anything that would, I, I would not also like anything that would add more to our bodies and all. But based on, I mean, I, 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 I run the car tracking company and I know I, 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 I am privileged to information and a lot of risk about on car theft. And this is one thing that we are sure that will, able, will, will help the police be able to work and cooperate with people more. Now, do you know that through the ECMR portal, if your car got stolen between 2018 and now, you can still flag it and report it on that portal without paying anything. And do you know that somebody last week still recorded the vehicle through this portal? Through this portal, with a car that got missing, that got missing over a year ago. Mm. The car got missing over a year ago, and he, he went on the portal, he registered it, he reported it there. Unknowingly, somebody else had registered the car, that had bought the car from a car dealer that mm. sold it to him. The person doesn't even know that he bought a stolen car. Now there's a conflict. Police swing this investigation and they were able to recover the car for someone that has lost his car over one year ago. Another thing is that once the ECMR gets fully implemented, once you have anything or your car gets stolen, just go on the portal, flag it. Once you flag it, it gets radioed across all, all, all police posts. And don't forget that for you to do this normally, you would have to get to, you have to go and report here, go to the F and report, go to this. You just do it on your portal. So now this portal is being managed. This portal has, I mean, has, and, and, and let us be honest and realistic for ourselves. If we actually want to sustain systems like this, and this system, systems like this, are, are, they, are, they are new in Nigeria, but they are things that are existing in other countries. Mm. If we really want to sustain systems like this, we have to be able to pay for it, no matter how small it is. All right. It's, it's a good thing you've mentioned that um, one of the benefits is that um, it can actually help uh, with um, car theft. Can you still run us through maybe other benefits? Because I understand that the police says that um, it will do away with um, the police asking you for your papers and uh, you know, physical checks and everything. You know, that's on the one hand. I, want, I need to know other benefits that, that is derivable or are derivable from the ECMR. On the other hand, I also want to find out um, about the security, you know, because... Uh, Anything that has to do with tech, you know, sometimes they might be subject to maybe some sort of um, hacks or maybe some sort of um, interference, you know, by some unscrupulous people. How safe it is, and um, you know, what can you really tell us about them? Um, how Nigerians can be protected, you know, with all of that? So, um, um, let me start by um, talking about the security part. For the security part, I can't really say much about the security, but I can tell you that it is something that. It, it is something that was built into the police architecture. Mm -hmm. And anything built into the police architecture, you can actually be sure that in terms of safety of your data, forget about mm -hmm. it. And, and and another thing that I hear people talk about is that, why do I want to give police my NIN details? Why do I want to? Mm -hmm. You see, these things have, all, all these, these informations are not, what uh, NIMSI does is that NIMSI will give you an API that you can call to verify information. Okay. And what the police needs to do is to ensure that the NIN, that is on that details the NIN, your NIN, the phone number on your NIN, and the and and your plate number and your car documents are matching. Once they see that it is matching, there is no business that they need with your NIN just to verify that this person owns this vehicle. And in case of anything, you can in case of anything, and you need to lay a claim. They know who owns the car. They actually know who owns the car. And this is happening across every sector. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't happen for our cars. Then also. Once the ECMR is fully implemented, and I've actually been following the update of the ECMR closely, one of the things that the police is, is doing at the moment is that they bought vehicles. They bought vehicles. They are buying vehicles that are running into thousands. These vehicles are going to be used with cameras. These vehicles are going to have cameras on top of them, which will be able to, which will be used to, from a distance, from a distance, you'll be able to capture a plate number. And once they capture a plate, your plate number, they can run through it. From, through the ECMR portal, they will know if your car has the ECMR or if it doesn't have. If they need to find you, they don't need to stop you. And that is what, why the first PRO said that very soon, police will start to do paperless enforcement because it's going to get digital. If we don't go into, if we don't move from the manual way and start to use system, there's no way we can get digital. There's no way we can get to the point where we have cameras everywhere. Cameras that will capture if you they committed an offense, 
we capture and you can do an e enforcement that is actually where the ETMR is going on oh. an e enforcement kind of strategy where your policemen will not need to stop you on the road and they're asking for this and say your fine is this and they're going to negotiate it somewhere no but the first step for us to do it is to first add a central database that the police has control over central database then we can now start automating things with digital cameras and all there are other things that are going to come in here, but i mean they are still under speculation but the thing is that this is going to be a portal that will be used to centralize everything that has to do with document um, that will centralize everything that has to do with um car papers car documentation okay fine you know with um, the ecmr now do we still have the need to use um car tracking devices anymore so um okay thanks for that question so the thing is that um i sell trackers a lot but you see um as a tracker installer i don't only sell trackers because there are other reasons why you need a tracking device aside from security you okay. surveillance is one of it you have a driver you want to be sure where your car is you you are traveling you want to drop your car with your mechanic you don't want him to move the car you can stop the vehicle from anywhere you are you want to listen to conversations going on in your car you know therefore some other other reasons why you should have a tracker like for me i see trackers you being able to put your car in your pocket and say that i have full control over this car but you see when it comes to security and theft, the tracking device will aid and will help you to be able to find your car faster but you see and also all these things are also then when we talk about and 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 even when you are trying to retrieve a car that's been stolen there's no way you can do it without the police because even if you know that your car has been stolen they've taken it towards the testing but you still need to report to the police and that is why you need to have your ecmr you need to also cooperate with the police even though you have a tracking device yes the tracking device can prevent you from even getting to that level in the first place where the, your car got stolen but if your car eventually gets to the, the ECMR, the police network, the police architecture, we have we are the car company. We don't have the police architecture to to be able to help retrieve vehicles. But with this, even vehicles that have been retrieved, they the, 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 have been have been retrieved and was dismantled. They, they, it's easier to find them. Mm. Okay, so now with all of this that you have said, with all of this wonderful uh, and good news uh, of um, ECMR, okay, I am a car owner and I'm just listening or watching this for the first time and I really need to get on track with all of this. What do I need to do? What are the step-by-step -step approach I need to do to get uh, my vehicle to be um, ECMR enabled as it is? It is very straightforward. The first thing you need to do is, you can do it on your mobile phone. Just visit the website tmris.mpf.gov.ng mm. once you get on the website it will request it will request you get started you click the get started button you'll be required to insert your nin details if it's a personal car but if it's the company car that was registered with the company details you would have to insert the tsp number once you cross that stage it does the verification he now ask you for your details, ask you for your details, your car details and all. Once you insert all car details, you click on the next button, you click on the next button. So by March, it will request payment. You make payment and um, you wait for a few hours, you wait for a few hours, your document will be sent to your email and you are also going to be able to print it out. And that's all. Very straightforward. All right. Thank you so much, MT. It's, not, for, it's not even cumbersome. It's something you can just do and in a matter of hours, um, you are completely registered, right? Yes, yes. In fact, not hours, there is minutes. In a few minutes, okay. minutes if you know what you're doing. Uh, that's just a good one yeah. for, for, for vehicle registration and, of course, uh, vehicle security and vehicle tracking and, of course, uh, automation in the, the country in terms of uh, how Nigerians can be secure. And um, I just hope Nigerians would actually buy into this idea and just uh, go get their, their vehicle on that particular platform. I have mm -hmm. been speaking. You want any last words in there as we, uh, before we leave? Mm-hmm. You said? Last words from you before we go. Okay, so um, the ECMR, I feel like we should stop seeing it as a, a way of police extorting because sometimes the only way we can support government is to be cooperating with some of these things and look beyond, look beyond the financial implication of some of it. Look beyond the financial implication and look at what exactly is the purpose behind this thing. Hmm. Because there is no way we cannot we can curb corruption in Nigeria if we don't start to move digital. 
All right. And I mean, I mean, we all need to cooperate. We we all need to be very. We we all. I mean, I I, I, I anytime I see any development about the ECMR, I'm always excited about it. Good. I love to talk about the ECMR because right. I, I I see the future. I've seen how it is in other countries, and I believe that I mean, if it's possible, it's possible if we all cooperate on, on it. And the ECMR was not suspended. The yeah. enforcement was suspended. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. I have been speaking with the Electronic Security and Automation Specialist, Timmy Lenson, who is the CEO of AutoSecure, and we have been looking at um, the ECMR and, of course, all of the benefits. Many thanks, um, Timmy Lane. Thank you. Thank you.